Hey, what's good, y'all? Sports Live in the ATL. David here on um, this Monday. Well, the Atlanta Falcons season for 2019 is officially done. And I want to touch on a few things before everybody starts getting their panties or their girdles in a wad. Um, my playoff videos are for entertainment. They're all for entertainment, just so you know. Um, however, when it comes to the Poodads and Kyle Shanahan, I will bring a little extra fire. But everything else is entertainment. Eagles, Eagles video with the Seahawks, entertainment. I'm going to have some fun on my channel. I'm, if I feel like a certain team's going to win, I'm going to let you know. Because, you know, the Falcons aren't in it, so I'm going to, you know, have some fun on my channel. And if you get off in, in, in your feelers, then that's your issue. Okay, I'm going to break down, except for the Pudats and the Kyle Shanahan Niners, when whoever they play, I'm going to break down every other game. You know, I'm going to let you know why I feel Seattle's going to beat uh, the Eagles. Uh, at a later video, um, it's a tough loss for Seattle, definitely. Um, uh, against the Niners, I know Art Abom, you wanted it bad, sir. What a way to get it right at the last moment. Um, and the Philadelphia Eagles, hey, kudos to them for for uh, getting into the playoffs again. Not exactly the best of seasons, but hey, they did it, and because they're clearly capable of winning. I'm not going to you know sit here and say that, but again, it's my channel. It's my channel, my words, my rules. I do what I want on my channel. As long as I keep it um, what it's for and don't cross the boundary, which I never will and haven't done in three, four years. I think I didn't even do that before. You know, I'm going to do what I want. I'm, I, I run a respectable sports fun channel, entertainment channel, where you can, you know, talk a little bit of smack but have fun at the same time and interact with people. And so, the, you know, you got to be able to deal with it. Any stupid comments, I'm going to delete them and I'm going to block you. I don't, I'm, it's not about that. Before you comment, listen. Pay attention to what I'm telling you, okay? Don't get all up in your feelers. Um, so look for that. I'm also part of the Stephen Rose tournament, obviously the playoffs. I went to the, I, I advanced one or two rounds last year. Well, hopefully I can advance farther. I, I'd like to win the thing, but we'll see what happens. But uh, Atlanta Falcons in the season uh, on a 6-2 and two ride. That's all I'm going to focus on. I'm not going to focus on the first half. I'm not going to focus on last year's. Like, what have you done for me lately? You know, people always bring up the 28-3 to and the 2017 uh, playoff at the one end and the one and seven start. You know, somebody said, how, how, uh, why would they bring Dan Quinn back after what happened early in the season? Why are you going to worry about that? The Falcons, at least the last eight games, appear to have corrected that. So I'm going to go into the offseason on a positive note. Am I happy with not making the playoffs? Absolutely not. It disgusts me. It makes me sick. Because this team right here, since 2002, has pretty much been in the mix. And I don't like the feeling of being out of the playoffs for the second straight year. Now, Tampa Bay, you guys are used to it. Haven't been in the playoffs. I couldn't even tell you how long. Uh, Arizona, uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, maybe name of other few, are used to it. I'm not. And I don't like that feeling. I hate the feeling of not being in the playoffs. Okay, let's go ahead and stand that correct. I'm not satisfied. But I am overly optimistic with what I saw with the coaching change after the, you know, just before the bye week or during the bye week and seeing how the, the players have played. That doesn't mean we don't need to make changes. We definitely do. Um, too many players high priced. Freeman, Trufant. What the hell, man? What are we paying these guys for? It's absurd. So hopefully we'll take care of that. A couple other guys. Yes, we're going to keep Vic Beasley, Busley, one more year. His second half also proved it. If you want to go with the team, Dan Quinn deserved at least one more shot. So does Vic Busley, Vic Beasley. And I know I've been jumping on both of them the whole year. Deservedly so in the first half. They both looked horrible. But uh, we'll see what happens the first month of next year. But right now it's the offseason for the Falcons. We'll see what they do. I don't care about the draft order. I don't care about who we pick. I'm not one of those that's going to get excited about a potential pick because I've been excited before and we still have no Super Bowls. It's about winning championships here in rings with whoever we got. So I'm not one of the – if you, you expect me to break down drafts and who I want to pick, then you don't want to watch my channel because leave it to AR-10, leave it to the neighbors, leave it to whoever else has Falcon videos. CC Ryder, leave it to those guys. They rep the Falcons excellent in their own way. I rep the Falcons excellent in my way. I don't interfere with, with what – with what they talk about, they don't really interfere with what I talk about, but we do root for the same team. We do interact, and we want to see this team win a championship. So that's what that's all about. You want those, that kind of talk, go to those three channels. You want, you know, humor, entertainment, occasional trash talk, off-the-wall stuff, 
then you come to my channel. Um, but we beat the Bucks uh, yesterday, um, dramatic fashion actually. It's kind of like what we do here. You know, the, the, the second half has been a lot of dramatic turns. And against the Buccaneers, you know, it was good to get that win, to uh, get that taste out of the game that they beat us down here in Atlanta. Um, we won like six of seven against the Bucks or something. We own them. Um, Jameis Winston, wrong side of history. What, the first player to have, what, well, he's got 5,000 yards, 30 touchdowns, and 30 picks. And how fitting the 30th pick was a pick six ender in overtime to Deion Jones. Uh, just a... A horrible throw, bad decision by by uh, by uh, Jameis Winston. I don't know if if the runner made a bad route, but that was right into the hands. Deion Jones was eyeing him out like crazy. Jameis was probably looking at 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 his intended target, and that was an easy pick. And no offense by uh, Deion Jones. It was nice to win that way. Um, Matt Ryan's got to get some protection, man. I mean, this guy puts up some really good numbers year in and year out. Imagine if he wasn't always running for his damn life. I mean, for God's sakes. I mean. With the way that it turned in the second half, the Falcons definitely need to go offensive line in the draft. If you really want to go that route, that's about as close as I'll say. Get the big hogs up there to put in with McGarry and Lindstrom. Some rookie uh, uh, pains this year on the O-line got toasted yesterday. Um, you can't have Matt Ryan week in and week out just taking so much abuse. I mean, imagine if he had protection. Who knows? We could have won a Super Bowl, and, and he, he may be here longer. Uh, what I don't want is Ryan and Julio – to play their whole careers here without winning the Super Bowl and go somewhere else and win one. We've already seen that. That would be sad. Um, uh, Falcon fans make me sick, the ones on Twitter, who didn't care to win yesterday. They, they's like, I cannot believe Julio Jones isn't getting six yards. We would, As long as he gets his six yards, I'll be happy. So you're putting the player above the team? I would never want a, want a Falcons player individually to get a record over a win. Those Falcon fans make me sick, and you can stay off my. I already took care of them. I don't like that. That's not that. That's not what a fan is. That's a. That's an individual player fan. That's not a team fan. You you play to win the game, as Herm Edwards says. You don't go for the for the individual accomplishments. Kind of like when Matt Ryan was like nine, six or nine yards from five thousand. Sure, I would have loved it, but I want to win. I want to win. That is some of the stupidest. Stupidest, ignorant, selfish opinions that I that I know, but but I respect their opinion. Again, I respect their opinion, and they have the right to their opinion, but they will not interact on on my Twitter. No, because I don't believe that. And if somebody comes on YouTube and says that, you know, I'll let them speak on YouTube because especially if they do videos and, and everything like that. But on Twitter, I'm not involved in that. Maybe even not on YouTube. I I, I just don't see why you would. Uh, uh, prefer to have a, a, a record over a win. I'll take the win any day. So I told those guys on Twitter, I hope the Falcons win this game and don't give Julio the six yards. Well, guess what? It happened, and I loved it. That, that's why when he got the pick six, I was even I was I was excited about the win. But I also thought about those idiots that were that wanted Julio to get the rec, get his yards for fourteen hundred, whatever. I hope y'all were crying. I hope y'all were mad and upset. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But there's going to be a lot of videos this, this playoff. Again, like I told you, don't take it personally. Unless it's the Poodads and Kyle Shanahan where I bring that heat, everything else is entertainment, and I will break some of the games down because, I, you know, I do love football. And even though I'm disappointed we're not in it, I'm going to enjoy my channel. And, again, I don't want texts. I don't want uh, emails or anything that says, hey, Dave, come talk to me before you do a video because uh, every time you root against my team, my team loses or whatever or root for my team my team loses i'm not a jinx I, I don't believe in that and i just keep that away from from my phone from my email from youtube it's a couple of people you know like to, to to tell me that no if your team loses it's because your team just was not good enough there's no jinx here in the atl it's sports live in the atl you dig what i'm saying i'm gonna do what i want on my own channel whether you like it or not period if you don't like it and if you feel like I'm a jinx, then just don't watch the channel. Alrighty then, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, Cameron Dawson, Young Buck and Dog, shout my dude. Sorry about your last place finish again, but you should be pretty much used to it. And I'm out.